Today I would like to chat about a uh, an error in thinking that I used to have when I was a cop. And it was it was just something that I didn't even I didn't think about it deeply. But what little I did think about it, I, I just didn't even catch on to what was really happening. And so if I would give somebody a speeding ticket, I would think that it wasn't my fault because I wasn't like I didn't make the law. I'm not taking their actual money. I'm just writing them a ticket. I'm just doing my job. And I thought that that kind of, you know, it made it okay that I was doing that. And then now, years later that I think about it, I kind of realized that for that simple example, there's actually a whole number of people who are involved in doing this bad thing, which is taking people's money from them against their will, which I guess the legal definition of that would be theft. And so kind of how it works is and I'm going to, you know, uh, remove some of the people who are involved and just kind of point out the central characters, is first it's the politician. The politician makes a law. They write these things that I, most people call them magic scribbles, but they, they write these things that say, if you do this, then we will do this to you, we meaning the government. And so the legislature legislature comes up with this law, you must drive on no more than 55 miles an hour on this road. And then the law enforcement administrator is the next person. And they look at what the legislator did, and the legislator's law says don't drive more than 55. So the police administrator says to his street cops, hey, go out, and if anybody's driving over 55 or you know, much over, um, write on a piece of paper that they have to send the government the amount of money that the politicians said they would have to. And then you can... Have just have them sign it, and, and if they don't sign it, then bring them to a judge immediately. Well, the cop goes out and just does what they're told. They just do their job. Their job is to go out and find the people who are speeding, write the ticket, and that's it. And then finally, the judge. The judge, the judge doesn't make the law. All they do is enforce the 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 law or they they find justice they say well the law says you have to do such and such the politician said that then the the cop writes the ticket and then the person comes to us and we just find out did the person were you know were they going over 55 did they break the law and if so then they have to pay us the amount of money that the legislators said that they did and because it's structured this way a bunch of people are involved and you know in this example four different people. And each of those groups of people can say, well, no, I'm not the, you know, the politicians will say, well, I'm not the one who tells the cops to go out and do this. And, and then the administrator will say, well, I, I, I'm not the one who made the law. I'm just, I'm just direct the cops on what to do. I don't even actually write tickets. I just tell the cops what to do. And then the cops say, well, I don't, I didn't make the law. I'm not the, you know, I don't want to be out here. I'd rather be doing something else. But the boss says I have to come out and do traffic enforcement, speed enforcement. And so I do. So, you know, not my fault. And then the judge says, hey, I didn't make the law. I'm not out there writing tickets. I don't know what the exact situation was. I'm just trying to find justice. And so each of them in turn can say, well, it wasn't really my fault. Um, I just did this one little part of it. And, I, and the other one, well, I just did this little part. Well, I just did this little part. Surely none of them individually can be to blame. That's what I thought. I bought into that hook, line, and sinker. I thought I was doing the right thing. Because after all, I was only doing that one little part, just doing my job. And the politician said it was okay to do. And so just as I didn't have bad intentions as I went out to write a speeding ticket, I... I I didn't start out the day thinking, hey, I'm going to go harm people. I'm going to be a bully. I was just doing my job. And so that's what I think a lot of cops today believe still. And when I was a cop, I wouldn't even think about philosophy. Like it wasn't something that I was interested in. Um, it just didn't even come into my mind. If it had, then I don't even know that I would have understood the worldview that I'm explaining now, the, the kind of the what's actually happening. So I just thought I would share what was in a cop's mind, the mistake that I made, and that I think a lot of other cops are making this mistake in thinking that they are innocent. In fact, what is the truth here? Let's get to that. The truth is that I, I as the cop, I was responsible. The judge was responsible. The administrator who sent me out to just do my job, that administrator was responsible. The politicians are especially responsible 
absolutely their fault, absolutely my fault, absolutely the administrator's fault, absolutely the judge's fault. No excuse. Just like if you help in one little part of a bank robbery. Well, I'm not the guy who stuck the gun in the guy's face. I'm just the guy who, you know, held the bag out for him to put the money in. Wasn't really my fault. No, you're a bank robber. If you participate in something bad, you are responsible. You have to accept that responsibility. And maybe you don't realize it now, but think about this. Watch this video once a year, and in a few years, see if you can still live with yourself for going out and stealing. I hope you can't live with yourself for doing that, and I hope you quit and go get a productive job. Thank you.